All right, all right, let's get underway then. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is a meeting of the Beale Early Childhood Center Building Committee, uh, which is meeting on Tuesday, January 26th at 6 p.m. to consider the following agenda. Important notice pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law Chapter 30A, subsection 18, and the Governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting of the Beale Early Childhood Center Building Committee will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. All meetings and hearings listed on in this the agenda will also be done so through remote participation. Specific information in the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with a right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the town's website at www.shrewsburyma.gov forward slash coronavirus. For this meeting, members of the public who wish to listen or watch the meeting may do so by dialing 1-919-525-2192 and entering the following PIN, 572-084-810-POUND, or visiting www.shrewsburymediaconnection.org. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so, despite best efforts, we will post the town's, on the town's website, an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. As a preliminary meeting, my, name's is J my name is James uh, F. Kane. I'm chairman for this evening, please permit me to confirm that all members and persons participate on the agenda, anticipated on the agenda, are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Sandra Fix. Present. Aaron Boucher. Present. Keith Baldinger. Present. Bob Cox. Present. Patrick Collins. Present. Christopher Girardi. Present. Evan Mizikar. Present. Joseph Sawyer. Present. Staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Val. Present. Thanks. Anticipated speakers on the agenda, please respond in the affirmative. Deborah Scheer. Present. Walter Hartley. Present. John Brennan. Katie Crockett. Present. David Fontaine, Jr. Present. Frank Payer. Present. Okay. I think I've uh, covered the rest of this hoo-ha, so now... Uh, we will get going. The basic ground rules are uh, turning the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, per permit me to some ground rules, blah, blah, blah. We've already basically gone over this. Um, we'll, we'll conduct this meeting as we have the last several where any motion made, we'll ask Sandy to make it, and then we will ask Mr. Mizuka to second it, okay? Mm -hmm. Any comments or questions on item two, the meeting minutes of December 15, 2020? There are no comments or questions. Do we have a motion to accept? So moved. Second. Motion is made and seconded. All those in favor shall signify by saying aye when I call the roll. Ms. Fritz? Aye. Ms. Boucher? Aye. Mr. Baldinger? Aye. Mr. Cox? Aye. Mr. Collins? Aye. Mr. Girardi? Aye. Mr. Mizikar? Aye. Mr. Sawyer? Aye. For unanimous. Item three. Project financial documentations and review. We will now review and act on the following bill schedules and warrants. Fontaine Brothers, Inc., requisition number 23 for $2,572,974. LPAA, Inc., invoice 1717-2012 for $69,545. PMA Consultants, LLC, invoice number 04110 dash four three for fifty six thousand five hundred and ten dollars and thirty three cents and app geo invoice one two one six seven three for fourteen thousand eight hundred and six dollars and seventy five cents are there any comments or questions regarding the vendor expense items if there are not any further questions or explanation required from the committee can i have a motion so moved second motion to be Accepted and approved has been made and seconded. All those in favor shall signify by saying aye, Ms. Fritz. Aye. Ms. Boucher. Aye. Mr. Baldinger. Aye. Mr. Cox. Aye. Mr. Collins. Aye. 
Mr. Girardi. Aye. Mr. Mizica. Aye. Mr. Sawyer. Aye. We're unanimous. Next up, item four. Here the reports review and act on the following matters. Report from the owner's project manager regarding project financials. Deb, Walter. Can you guys hear me? Uh, you're gonna have to get closer to your mic, Deb. I have to get closer to my mic. There you go. There you go, Deb. We can hear you now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so everybody. We can't hear you now, Deb. I don't know what's going on here. We can hear you now, Deb. All right. I have to. Okay, so everybody got the budget summary dated today. Uh, the only delta with this and the one that we presented last month is that we added um, the value of change order five, the five change contract value, which is 11191 So we have uh, total contract values to date, change order five with Fontaine, 82885505 Um have invoices and costs through December, 55661030 This actually represents through, through December billings, 64% of construction build and 61% of the overall project build, leaving us a balance of that. And that's based on spending the entire 92 million. So with the 5 million in gross through December, we have a balance to finish of 36 million three forty two. Um, we've encumbered to date 84 million three thousand six forty five with a budget of seven million nine ninety eight five fourteen again, spending the whole ninety two point um ninety two million two thousand one fifty nine. This does not include the bills that were recently written at the beginning of this month. We will get those into the budget to cover those costs. Um, that will be in this report for next month. So uh, we, we have total um, pro pay submitted today, 52 million, 949, District has reimbursed payments from MSBA of 20 million, 427,312. We have no pending reimbursements right now. We'll get the the invoice is approved at this meeting. Uh, hopefully, if we can get the warrant by uh, month's end, we'll get that in. Um, that's, that's what I have. If anyone has any questions. Thank you very much, Deb. Any comments or questions from members of the committee? Thank you very much. Uh, Walter, anything from your end? Uh, no, uh, financially, Deb covered it, and I'll let... Um... I'll let Katie speak to any of the design uh, items and Frank to the construction, but everything's going great. And um, we're looking, I think Stevie's uh, one of the, the Fontaine Supers has started talking in uh, weeks now. So uh, we are 18 weeks away from substantial completion and working hard to get there. So I'll- uh, Well, that's I'll great. It. Yep. Thank you. Uh, 4B, report from the architect. Katie, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Um, as Ms. Cher explained, we are two thirds through the project financially. And this is a really exciting juncture where we start to see Tempe in the building, finishes coming in. We start thinking about the closeout and the punch list period. So um, I was going to show you some images to illustrate that. Additionally, we, uh, as I've mentioned, have already, um, Share my screen. Um, let's see if I can make this happen. Does everybody see that? I don't. No. no. You're with me. Um, share. Here we go. Here I'm sharing. Okay. Now, can you see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's all coming in. Awesome. Uh, we have issued orders for the furniture. So, so, as I said, a very interesting time in the project. Um, and thank you to Keith Baldinger for coordinating, getting 
our latest drone footage to show how the building is progressing. And as um, Walter said, this is on behalf of PMA as well as Fontaine. Here we are coming in under the canopy, which doesn't have its translucent panels on it yet, but that wood finish up at the top is pretty exciting to see. This is running by the administration area. And again, you can see the canopy framing coming in place. The servery area, this is the bus drop off section where kids will wait and for the buses to come and disembark there. This is the side as you're going along the cafeteria. This drone footage is interesting because he stayed in tight and then went out. This is the um, canopy at the recess area where parent pickup and drop off will be happening. And these brick elements, if you remember, are the academic wings. Seeing these green windows um, reminds us of how much we wanted to knit this building with the environment, the beautiful site that we have. The brick sections of the building for the most part are the classroom wings. And these are, you can see the expansive windows, two per major classroom and one for the smaller ones. This is a view of the kindergarten wing to the, to the left. And we're starting to, the drone is starting to pull out so we can see more of these phenomenal views that we have. The canopy has outstretched arms to welcome the community and the students that you can see well here from this vantage point. Coming around to the area that will be dual purpose as parking and parent pick up and drop off as well as the recess area. We'll have lots of interesting game lines that actually also form parking spaces out here. And the metal panel sections at the end of these academic wings are where we have the common rooms and the staircases for each of the wings, which you start to see, as I say, pinwheeling about. This area in the foreground will be where the raised bed gardens are located on the southwest side, great uh, solar exposure for them. And here we can see the very end of the media center. This drone must have been taken in the morning because the west side is in shadow. The butterfly garden, we've just gone by. And we're coming up on the end of the kindergarten wing, which will have its own playground area directly off of the common room. You see the window at the end here. And this is a doorway to that. And the multi-purpose field, which is right in a great spot for community use as well as for the school, will be situated right here in the front of the building. Now we pull back, we can start again to see these phenomenal views with this exceptional site that we have. The parking area, which has these curved lines that hug into the hill where the beach tree is and back up to Lake Street kind of have work with the grades and with that naturalistic site, the soccer field off to the left. And then we have a few still shots of the entry area. And again, that wood grain metal panel that we have that you'll see coming into the lobby in the end. Now we're inside the building and the, this is not a drone shot. Um, this is showing one of the academic wings. You can see how we have developed uh, a typical color uh, identification for each wing. This is a view of a common room. Start to see it coming together. The ceiling grid up above um, will start to get flooded. We're starting to see finished flooring at the grade level being prepared. This is a view out one of those stairs, just there's no bad view in this building. This is the cafeteria platform, which we're so excited to see student performances and community events happening here. This will have that same wood grain all around it. So it should be really a, a lovely place for that type of assembly. And this is the current view out through the media center to what will be 
the butterfly garden. And that completes my report, Mr. Chairman. Great, thank you very much, Katie. Any comments or further questions from members of the committee? Katie, I have a question. You mentioned that you are ordering furniture and I know um, like furniture for homes has been delayed with COVID. Is there any concern about furniture being delayed for a school project? That's a, that's a great question. Our um, consultant, uh, Patrick Collins can confirm, was very diligent, diligent about placing the order before the end of the year to try to address this ahead of the game. Right now, um, I, we were just talking with her today. They are seeing um, things starting to get orders placed, six to eight week lead time items. We don't have any sense of problems yet, but um, I think it was a really good strategy. And thank you to the school department for backing that all up because that was a big push at the end of the year uh, to get the selections and the orders in place. But uh, so far, so good. Great, thank you. Uh, Katie, when will you be in a position to give the committee an update on the historic elements that you're pulling from the existing building? We've got a great update on the mural, and I know there's a team that Joe's assembled to wrestle that into a, a more specific final plan. But where are you on the historic elements? We have been having a fabulous experience working with some high school students that volunteered to assist with the research that's involved with that. And we've been getting some great material. They did this during COVID and I think during their break in some cases. So it's out of uh, interest in, in the project itself. And we've been starting to develop some graphics for that. And our hope is to have something prepared for next month's building committee meeting. All right, great, thank you very much. Further comments or questions for the project architect? If not, thank you very much. Uh, 4C report from the construction manager on schedule update and construction progress. Frank, yes. David. Yep, good evening, everyone. Um, everything is going well. Um, you just saw the video. That can that speaks volumes more than I can put in words here. Uh, just to give you some numbers, we are typically running 70 men out there. It averages between 65 and 75. Um, we did have a little bit of a, a hit with COVID that has seemed to level out. We're back in business. Um, as Deb said, we are currently billed at about 70%, which is kind of a milestone for the project. And now it's finishes on the inside, elevator has started, all the mechanical disciplines are fully engaged. So we are right where we need to be. Um, and I, I feel good about the project at the moment. Very good. David, do you want to add anything? I think Frank addressed it uh, pretty well, Jim. And you know, they've been the team's been doing a great job and continue to meet um, all the time with PMA and LPA and anything that comes up and getting great answers and cooperation from the team. So very happy. Okay. Uh, are there any uh, lead items much along the same theme of the question Sandy asked regarding furniture? Anything that you folks are seeing in your element of responsibility that keeps you up at night? Now, the one thing that was on our our watch list was the um, was the guardrail that's fully installed now. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, we sent the note out early on. We have I don't know if you could see in some of those drone shots. We have all the uh, precast granite for those sensory gardens. We have all the Goric specialty playground equipment on site. Uh, we sent out a couple of notices uh, just early on when this whole thing started just said get it on a site we'll figure out where it goes we'll find a place for it so so far so good okay great any further comments questions um if not what i'd like to do is ask that frank and uh, kevin think about when it makes sense um for the building committee to you know prior to a meeting or what have you perhaps in april the sun will be up higher etc to go do a four o'clock walkabout or something, three, three, whatever makes sense uh, to the schedule of the building uh, committee members 
and then possibly get home and have a, another meeting. But I think it's time for us to get out there as a group, see the final push to the end. And uh, I'm just thinking it'll be warmer in April. So I now just ask Kevin and uh, the gang to make that happen to the extent it makes sense to do so. Okay. okay. Um, the next meeting date is Tuesday, February 23rd at 6 p.m. Uh, as many of you may recall, I asked Val to send her on a memorandum from Oh, January 8th, indicating that obviously I'll be leaving the building committee when I leave the Board of Selectmen. So uh, I, I, at that point, I thought I'd resign at the, as chairman at the end of our February meeting. Nah, I'm going to resign as chairman at the beginning of the February meeting. Um, that way there's no loss in continuity, et cetera. God forbid there's a critical issue in between meetings. There's a paint chip to be chosen or something critical to the project. So uh, I'd ask you guys to think about who wants to be chairman because Val on the first item for the next meeting, let's do a reorg uh, and then uh, someone else can take off. Sorry, some uh, people from the cheap seats are making gestures my way that are bothering me. Um, we'll reorg for a, a new chairman and then uh, move on from there. And then on the uh, end of our March meeting, I will step off uh, and my colleagues will have uh, already picked a new uh, member to uh, represent the Board of Selectmen on the building committee. So having said that, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Hi, thank you. Uh, my apologies, I got kicked off the call uh, briefly oh. in, uh, during the architect's report. I just wanted to mention, uh, <laughs> if it wasn't uh, earlier, that uh, I wanted to thank uh, Ms. Crockett and her team, and uh, she actually was able to meet with myself, Mr. Girardi, um, and Ms. Clowder from our office uh, last night with the artist Peter Reynolds regarding the mural. Uh, Mr. Girardi did an excellent job getting feedback from students across the grades K through four across the district, as well as parents and uh, staff members. Uh, the feedback, uh, you know, they had a chance to watch the presentation Mr. Reynolds made at a previous meeting of our committee and uh, uh, overwhelmingly positive feedback. There were a few uh, elements of uh, constructive feedback that we did share with Mr. Reynolds. And obviously we're getting close to the finish line, but he talked about incorporating some of that potentially into the final uh, in the final piece. Uh, but I know that uh, Katie and her team have done a really good job trying to connect us with the artist. And uh, you know, I think in conjunction, um, it, it is going to be, uh, you know, one question I had was, will it be complimentary with the history wall on the other side of the lobby? And uh, I think when it all comes together, it's going to be, uh, you know, again, very high quality. So. I just wanted to make a point to thank uh, Ms. Crockett and uh, Mr. Girardi uh, for their diligent work uh, and let the committee know that we're, we continue to work on that. Great, thank you very much, Joe. Anybody else have any final matters to come before the building committee this evening? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor shall signify by saying aye. Ms. Fritz? Aye. Ms. Boucher? Aye. Mr. Baldinger? Aye. Mr. Cox? Aye. Collins? Aye. Mr. Girardi? Aye. Mr. Mizica? Aye. Mr. Sawyer? Aye. Very good. We stand adjourned until our next meeting, um, February 23rd at 6 p.m. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.